Okay, so we're going to continue our journey towards understanding better the base 12 version of pi. We're going to look now at how to actually divide the circle into 360 degrees. This is a first or a good first step towards actually understanding how to divide the circle into you know almost infinite little pieces that are all equal in size. It's something that we can't currently do in base 10. So what I'm going to do is just show you how to start the whole process by dividing a circle up into 24 little sections. It's a very easy process. All you need is a compass and a straight edge. So what you do, you can see here, you put your compass down on a blank piece of paper and you draw a circle. Then you put the point of the compass on the edge of the circle you just drew and you draw another circle. And you continue this process by putting the point of the compass down on the points where the circles are overlapping and you continue to draw circles. So the first part of the process, you end up with six circles around the initial circle. And at this point, you can start connecting the points that have been created by this, doing this process. By drawing these straight lines, we now create a new point on the original circle, or we can again put our compass point down there, draw another circle and start the process again. Now we're doing the same design, but at a 90 degree angle from the first you know, series of circles. So at the end of the second series, we have uh, one circle in the center and then 12 circles around it. And this is the pattern that we can use now to start uh, connecting the points that have been created and we can divide the circle into 24 equal sections. So this is the first step in creating the overall diagram for 360 degrees. So I think I'll just leave it there for now. What we would do is draw this pattern on a base 12 grid or we, we would create our grid using this pattern. So we're going to give that initial circle the uh, radius of 1 and on the Cartesian plane, there's going to be 12 little squares between the center of the circle and its circumference. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Something really simple. In the next video, we're going to continue this process and look a little bit deeper at how we can use the dodecagon to further our uh, diagram of generating all 360 degrees. So I hope you can join me for that video. Thanks for watching.